Adeleke Freeze's government account reverses state name. Now, the newly elected and inaugurated governor of Oshun State actually has frozen most government accounts as his first executive order and um, reverses the name of the state. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us once again on the channel. We'd like to say a very big welcome to you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time of day we may be reaching you. Now, thank you for joining us once again. Please do well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you're joining us for the very first time. Now, to all of our existing subscribers, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our posts as they come your way. Thank you and God bless you. Now, into the details of today's report. The newly inaugurated governor of Oshun State, Ademola Adeleke, has frozen all government accounts in the state. Now, Adeleke directed this in his first executive order upon inauguration on Sunday. Adeleke, in a speech delivered at the inauguration, alleged that the erstwhile governor of the state, Adegoyega Oyetola, carried out some actions maliciously after he, Adeleke, won the July 16th governorship election, including horrid employment without provisions to sustain them. He claimed that these actions were roadblocks channeled at making things difficult in his administration. Now, Adeleke also reversed the state name from the state of Oshun to Oshun State, saying the former was alien to the constitution. My good people of Oshun, since you elected me as your governor on July 16, 2022, which the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, announced on July 17, 2022, the former governor, Alhaji Boiga Oyetola, has maliciously started putting roadblocks to make things difficult and almost impossible for the new administration to serve you. Mass employment were carried out without budgetary provisions for salary payments for the new employees. Even when the state was struggling to pay salaries and deliver other services, now various hurried and criminally backdated contracts were awarded and again without budgetary provisions. Appointments of several others were already done without following due process, just to mention a few. All efforts to get the governor to set up a transition committee and submit handover notes in line with best practices proved abortive. It is therefore my desire to ask for your patience and understanding to give my administration a few weeks to review and sort out all the actions and malicious confusions which the immediate past administration has created since July 17, 2022. Those actions were indeed vindictive measures against the people of Oshun State for voting them out of office, Adeleke said. Now, giving new orders, he said, Consequently, I hereby issue the following directives, which will be backed up with appropriate executive orders. The immediate freezing of all government accounts in banks and other financial institutions the immediate establishment of a panel to carry out an inventory and recover all government assets, an immediate establishment of a panel to review all appointments and major decisions of the immediate past administration taken after July 17, 2022, an immediate reversal of the state's name to its constitutionally recognized name or shown state. All government insignia, 
correspondences and signatures should henceforth reflect Oshun state rather than the state of Oshun, which is unknown to the Nigerian constitution. Adeleke, in his speech, also said that he would correct the injustice of the past administrations. Well, that is it on the details of um, today's report. And we can see that um, Adeleke, in his first executive order, has actually frozen all government accounts. And according to him, he's actually doing this because there were some actually malicious um things that were actually done by the former um, governor should actually hinder his administration. And then um, he also changed the name, um, reversed the name back to Oshun State. Instead of State Oshun, at, it had been widely um, used in the past years. Well, we see that uh, it seems the governor seems to be taking a step um in the right direction well we like to hear your thoughts we like to hear your opinions please drop your comments in the comment section what do you think do you think the newly inaugurated governor is actually taking the right step with them um, this first executive orders he actually gave please drop your comments in the comment section well we're going to take a few comments we trust that nigerians would actually react to all of this and um, we're going to take a few comments here now we have this one that says um the newly inaugurated governor is sincere here for now is only against the politics which was enacted by the immediate past governor after he won the election i am in support of his move who is the politician that cannot act the same way that he's acting imagine 30 appointments just last week who was oyetola expecting to pay them do everything legally possible to make things work right, Mr. Governor. Now we see that this is this Nigerian is actually in support of Adeleke. And according to him, he said Adeleke is taking a step in the right um, direction and that he should do everything legally possible to make things work. Now this other one says, I believe this man would outperform and outshine his predecessor with people-oriented policies and a human face in governance. God be with you, the new governor of our people, and may God direct you to the right path in bringing the massive sufferings of the people of Oshun State to eternal and abrupt end. Congratulations. Well, we see that there are a lot of congratulatory military messages for Adeleke and the people of Shoshun actually believe that he will do better than the past government that they have had and they believe that he's taking the step in the right direction. But that's all we can take on the details of today's report. Until we come your way next time with more news happenings, do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.